Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street. Bill Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. I have a special guest here today. This is my little girl, Gucci. Hello, Bubba. There you go. She's saying hi to everyone. She's coming along uh, on this uh, video today with me to give you updates about crypto. So uh, she's looking around at the moment going crazy. Anyway, massive shout out. Thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Um, if you're new to this channel, please make sure you smash the subscribe button and turn on that little bell notification as well because I love doing these videos on a regular basis, documenting my journey with investing, be it through cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom, and yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. It's been insane so far. Also, guys, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people. And guys, the YouTube algorithm is magic when you do that. All right, so thank you very much. All right, guys, little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff i don't want to see anyone get financially hurt please jump on all the websites i've recommended in all my videos masoda.io lunar crush reddit medium tiktok if you have to just be careful on that guys use twitter every single day we'll give you updates there's a lot of gems on there just get confident before investing me my golden rule is only invest what i can afford to lose yes we don't like to lose but you have to sit a limit because you can lose money like that with cryptos all right so please be careful do your own research don't take what i say as financial advice all right guys now the formalities are out of the way what are you going to pick for an altcoin what's she going to pick i reckon she'll pick um xrp because she's with me on that one anyway so i put up a post in the community tab guys and i love talking with everyone in here so favorite crypto projects xrp said 74 percent xdc five percent that is a hidden gem at the moment guys xyo seven percent v chain nine percent out of a few thousand votes there guys so uh obviously we've got some other ones here xr doge no i'm not invested in that one xdc uh would be you know one for gains xrp of course guys saitama no i'm not touching saitama xyo obviously that one there i've seen some incredible returns on that one i uh, bought in at like double zero five or three or something like that earlier this year so uh really happy about that one ubix network yes um i do have a bag of ubix network ubx it is on kucoin um it is a hidden gem very early stage ethereum and if you're looking for something like that we'll check it out guys um all of them but xr doge will pump big time i'm sure they will but it's really risky uh xrp again proton xpr and proton loan yes xpr i like the project as well it's just a really unique um, project in terms of how to send you know cryptos to you know people around the world it's awesome you just see the username so i really like that we'll get into all this stuff as well all of the above uh what else we got here pulse chain hero omi yes and i've seen a couple of h bar as well so that's pretty much it in terms of the community tab love talking with everyone in here this is the coin spot app where i buy my cryptos in australia everyone i literally updated my entire phone today to ios 15 it was the biggest mistake i've ever made and obviously coin spots updated their platform as well you can see on there it's changed a lot um I don't really like it, but anyway, it's still useful. I still buy my cryptos on here. So there is a referral link below. Sorry, Bubba. Um, if you are interested in buying cryptos in Australia, please feel free to use that. You can get $10 in Bitcoin, everyone, if you do use that, but it's up to you. Do your own research though. Um, but uh, let's have a look here today. $82,000. Bitcoin is up 4.81%. Ethereum is up 6.22%, guys, to $6,100. BNB is up $829, guys. This is incredible. I told everyone not to panic. Don't listen to the FUD ever. You can't, man. You have to stay in the market if you can. Obviously, you know, I you know would like you to take profits out my initial investment for sure, but you can't panic in this market. You, you really can't, guys, honestly, because this is what happens. It just moves so quick. Solana's at $300. No, stay there, Bubba. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> $300. Uh, what do we got here? Cardano, $2.65. XRP, it is at $1.54, like a stable coin. This is all in Australian dollars, by the way, everyone. So I've got everything else set to US dollars. Poke it off $59. Doge is up 5%, guys, to $0.33. Cents. Shiba Inu is pumping at 14%, guys. That's awesome. AVAX is up 15%. All the metaverse tokens are pumping as well at the moment. So that's the hype of, you know, at the moment, guys. So Chainlink as well, $40. Algorand is up 3%, guys, to $2.60. Polygon Matic, 5.49%. Uh, $2.30. VeChain is up 7.92% to $0.19, cents, guys. That's incredible. Stellar XLM, 5.51% to $0.50. Cents. It just goes to show that we're still in this bull market. And I think it's going to go well and truly into next year. Decentraline Mana is up to $5.76. Uh, let's keep scrolling down here. Theta, 5%. 
5.89% guys to $9. What's your favorite? Do you like Hedera or XRP? She's XRP. Yeah, your XRP. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, 54 cents. Keep scrolling down here to Sandbox, guys, up 3.33%, $5.98. No, you're not jumping down. 4.72%, $392. Eng is up 19%, guys. That is incredible. $5.26. Neo, 3.64% to $59. Quant is at $332. Keep scrolling down here to my other favorites, guys. Uh, where else? Uh, XDC is the other bottom. I just love at the moment. It's very really undervalued. 12 cents. She wants to get down. Okay. You go. There you go. Run around the office. Okay. <laughs> there you go. She's running around now. Uh, it's 12 cents, guys. XDC. It's a real, you know, early project. Obviously, it's got huge utility. We're very early in this. So that's pretty much for CoinSpot. Let's go into some news. And yes, this is the new iOS system here. It's really annoying, guys. I'm not used to it yet. So forgive me if I make some stuff up here. But you can see the green. Everything's in the green today, guys. Bitcoin, $58,704 right now. USD, Ethereum, $4,289. Everything is up, guys. XRP, I see there is a dollar nine, like a stable coin at the moment. Let's go into some interesting stuff, though, guys. So I just want to make a point. JP Morgan, November 7th, doubles down on Bitcoin price prediction of $146,000. This is insane. Global investment bank JP Morgan doubled down on its Bitcoin price prediction of $146,000 US dollars. If that happens, wow, man, look out. The market's going to go parabolic. The bank analysts explained that the price of the cryptocurrency could reach that level if its volatility subsides and institutional investors start investing in Bitcoin more than gold in their portfolios. This is what I'm saying. Like, you know, I've said that Bitcoin is going to hit 100,000 AUD. If it hits 146,000 USD, it's going to be game changer here in Australia anyway. So that's crazy. What is she doing? She's running amok. Anyway, there you go. Um, all right, so you've got JP Morgan saying it's going to hit 146,000. Old coins are pumping right now, man. They are all pumping. Incredible. Another thing I want to uh, you know talk about here is the, the CEO of CBA Bank, which is one of the big four banks in Australia who just literally announced that they're going to uh, start you know, a crypto exchange with Gemini here in Australia to let their customers buy cryptocurrencies. Biggest risk of crypto is missing out. One of the biggest risks uh, banks face when it comes to cryptocurrencies being left out and the market altogether. That's the view of Commonwealth Bank Australia Chief Executive Officer Matt. Forgive me for pronouncing his name, guys. Comian, Coman, whatever. Anyway, who says, although digital assets are very volatile and speculative, banks need to be involved in the adoption of technology underlying crypto and yeah, an instable uh, demand for customers to trade them. We see risks participating, but we see bigger risks not participating said in an interview with Bloomberg Television in Sydney, guys, and I do have that interview up on my phone, but I'm not sure if it'll work. Anyway, so I'm just trying to point out, obviously, that um, we're very early in this. We're so early, and I'm not worried about all the FUD, and I told everyone in my video yesterday not to worry about the FUD because I knew this was gonna happen. You can see it coming, that there were, you know, people sell out, they, you know, they got, they, you know, panicked, they sold out all of their positions, took their profits, and they walked away, that crashed the market. Everyone was stressing out, all the FUD, you know, if you're not worried or stressed like I am, I just let it sit there and do its thing. We're still early. You know, you wait long term, you'll see great returns. I mean, like I, I, I am honestly in this to at least five years plus, guys. Honestly, you have to be. So the country's largest bank said on Friday it bought a small stake in the cryptocurrency exchange Gemini Trust. The exchange founder Tyler and Cameron Winklevoss, 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 forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, guys, was seeking funding of US $7 billion, $9.6 billion Australian valuation. The bank is partnering with Gemini to give customers safe storage for tokens they buy and sell, guys. This is incredible, man. This is incredible. So that's pretty much in terms of the news. And uh, I do have that Bloomberg interview up here, and I'm wondering if it'll play. I'm going to try it. Let's have a look. And supply chains and technology obviously any reliance on uh, inbound and outbound uh, shipping routes. We do think that there's going to be inflationary pressure going through into next year. Our economics team is forecasting a cash rate increase at the end of 2022. <laughs> but as you know, there's a, there's a big divide between, I think, what the market is expecting and how that translates into wages and strong demand for labour next year versus what the central bank is currently forecasting. So. You know, our view is it's going to be strong economic growth in uh, in 2022. You know, very low unemployment rate. Some of those supply chain issues will persist. Very interesting we'll see, stuff. The CEO uh, of um, Combank is saying, guys. We've seen for many years.
You mentioned the labour market tightness and we've been talking about the great resignation across the globe as well. What have you been seeing in your business and how reliant is that part of the market on Australia really opening its borders to international migration and tourists once again? Yeah, I mean, just about every business that I've spoken to certainly is very focused on uh, retaining and also just access to labour. So certainly as uh, borders are opening uh, during the course of next year and getting access to, you know, both highly skilled but also you know, international students that you mentioned, I think that's certainly a, a big positive. We're, we're not seeing at this stage some of the forces that you've seen in you know, markets like the US where there's very significant sort of uh, increases in uh, in turnover, but we're very focused on making sure we're you know, retaining our best people. I'm sure all businesses are. It's definitely you know it's a good time to be in uh, in certain industries. Um, there's a lot of competition and demand, and you know employers rightfully are very focused on keeping their their best people. And that's certainly going to continue uh, into next year. Let's turn to crypto for a sec. You have been more bullish on that asset class than many other global bankers. You've now got a partnership with Gemini, so your customers on the app can buy, hold and sell crypto assets. Why are you more bullish on that asset class? Yeah, I mean, it's important to say we don't have a, a view on the asset price itself. You know, we see it as a very volatile and speculative uh, asset, but we also don't think that the sector and the technology is going away anytime soon. And so we want to understand it. We want to provide a competitive offering to customers, you know, with the right disclosure around risks. We want to build capability in and around uh, DLT or blockchain technology. Uh, I think there's going to be lots of different variations. All right, so Gucci's barking her head off for people in the office. All right, guys, coin market cap is sitting at right now 2.6 million a trillion dollar market cap so it has gone up significantly 24 hour trading volume has gone to 115 billion btc 42 percent ethereum 19.5 percent guys 14,500 cryptocurrencies and we are seeing greens right now and that is awesome love seeing this guys obviously you've got the biggest gain is right here let's just have a look here all these you know cryptocurrencies here are pumping at the moment Let's go back to you, sorry, so I've got some gainers here. All right, so you've got, based on the top 100 coins, you've got Immutable is up 32%. Eng, obviously, this is one that I was considering adding, adding, adding to my portfolio. Zcash is up, Avalanche, Loop Ring, OMG Network and Co, uh, Curve, sorry. Gonna go straight into my portfolio. Okay, they've added new widgets. Always changing stuff on this app, honestly. All right, so here we go. Bitcoin is up 4.48%. Cardano, 4.29%, guys. XRP, let's have a look at Bitcoin, sorry. 58,000. JP Morgan said it's going to hit 146,000 US dollars. It's coming, guys. It honestly is. You wouldn't have the big boys in this industry or the banks and financial institutions, even professional analysts saying that it's not going to hit that. Just give it time. That's all it is. Cardano is four, up 4%, guys, in the last 24 hours. A dollar and 86 cents USD. That is such good buying opportunity. XRP. I haven't got many updates on in relation to XRP other than just to you know wait for the news because obviously there's stuff going on behind the scenes. They have until January to get everything sorted. And December this year, obviously because of their experts, you know, witnesses, and they're going to be um, going back and forth with them. So we'll see what happens with that. A dollar and nine cents today, up four percent, guys. Dogecoin, not just, I'm not really um, selling anything in Doge. I've got my position. It's sitting at 23 cents USD. It's up 5%, guys. Shiba Inu is pumping at the moment, up 15%. And you can see that there's a few zeros, four zeros, guys. So I'm just still holding my position there. Polygon Matic, it's $1.61. Let's keep scrolling down here. VeChain, very bullish on VeChain, 14 cents USD, guys. Can't complain about that. It's up 8%. Uh, Stellar XLM is up to 35 cents. 5.41% guys, still bullish on these ones. Tron, Decentraline Mana, uh, Decentraline Land, sorry, it is up 4% as well, $4.06 USD. Fade is up as well, Hedera, everything is up. All the altcoins are up guys, it's awesome. I told everyone not to panic, so this is what happens. It always happens, like literally, you know, once a month or something like that, this happens. Honestly, people get out of their positions and they just, you know, panic and everyone sells. So I'm still holding Neo, Sandbox, BTT, Holochain, AMP as well is another one that I'm considering adding more into. It's at $0.05, cents, similar price range to XYO. Theta Fuel, ANKR, XDC Network, again, very bullish on this. It is at $0.08. Cents. This is a gem. The What it's being planned and built uh, for in the future, 
this is a you know incredible buying opportunity in my personal opinion anyway so i've got a decent bag of xdc uh see a coin tail coin xyo is up 43 percent 42 percent in the last 24 hours guys to six cents and i told you i got into double zero three or double zero four around that price range so i've seen some incredible returns go to the all time up 1,311 percent guys just getting started with xyo win link is up 6.97 percent digibyte 6.313 percent guys reef i'm very bullish on this one as well two cents still a great buying opportunity i dollar cost average into this let's have a look here vthor uh, vthor a token is up eight percent ecomi 3.71 percent electronium proton xpr i am holding that it is available on kucoin so check that one out it's a really interesting project guys it's at three cents right now so that is a gem constellation dag as well 20 cents usd again partnered with the united states air force can't get can't go wrong with that guys they've obviously got a very secure network so they are using them uh, acropolis is up ubix network is up 19 percent in the last 24 hours still three zeros i think this is a great buying opportunity it's very early it is pumping at the moment and uh, with this one, it is on KuCoin. You will need 90,000 Ubix, Ubix uh, tokens to withdraw off the exchange, and you can store it in a uh, ERC20 um, wallet, you know, Trust Wallet or MetaMask. So consider that one if you're looking at something that, uh, that is a hidden gem. I love projects like this because it gives opportunity for, a, you know, not a massive investment, but a small investment that you can see some incredible returns. So I'll leave that one up to you guys. Obviously, this one here is Pitbull as well. It is up 32% today, guys, 31. Still a long way to go there, but uh, this is one that a friend told me to put you know, a smaller man in just for fun. So don't take this as financial advice, but I just took a gamble on this one just for a bit of fun. That's pretty much it in terms of my portfolio. And I'm gonna go to my three commas trading bot at the moment, and there is a referral link below. Check it out if you wish to have a look at it. There's a dollar cost averaging video that I'll put up here that I, you know, basically explains how to set up a dollar cost averaging bot. Uh, do your research, obviously, but it's made me 33 cents today because it's been very quiet. 374 US dollars in total profits. Uh, the reserve amount is $172 USD. I've got $1 cost average bot set up at the moment, and it is taking 1% profits on each trade. $10 USD tether base order, so when it buys. Safety order, 10 USD tether as well. And it's taking five of those when the price drops. And it's, again, 25 deals, and I just let it do its thing, guys. You can clearly see here, it's still stuck in the deal. This one here, Aave, is down 22%. I've got a few ones here. Sushi, 22%. Dot is down 15%. Uh, ETC is down 15%. All of them are down at the moment, so it's still recovering a little bit, but it is the weekend. It always goes quiet over the weekend, so you need to give it to at least Monday, Tuesday next week. So again, I'm probably going to take some profits out of this at the end of uh, this month. So I like to leave it to the end of the month. All right, that's pretty much it for today. Um, anyone? So let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen with Bitcoin. Do you think it will hit $140,000 as JP Morgan predicted? Let me know in the comments below, all right? Stay safe, everyone. Peace, bye.